Hello everyone. Well, today I've got something a little bit different. This is a pig nose travel guitar. Now look at that. This is the deluxe model. As you can see. don't think it's much different to the normal ones just got a few different bits on it obviously gold hardware as you can see lovely gold bridge there the pig nose is still chrome though I've seen them out there with gold ones lace pick up there looks like a little humbucker pig nose one watt speaker got the lovely binding round here the lovely mother of pearl inlays so the fretboard we getting gold hard hardware up here. If I turn it round for you, just so you can see the back. There's the back, string through body. Panel there to get to the pig snout knob. Open the back there for the 10 inch speaker. I think it's a one watt amplifier in there. Bow on neck. This is built really nice though, and it's really solid. This has had an upgrade. Look at that. And tune is lovely. It's a proper USA made guitar. That's where the 9 volt battery goes. Let's turn it back around for you. Now, I've seen the pig nose amplifiers before, and maybe a few of you have as well out there. They're very famous amps. Lovely binding there on the side. As I said, this is the deluxe version, but the locking machine heads don't come as standard. But they do have gold hardware on. Like all short scale guitars, they are a bit tricky to keep in tune. And those locking machine heads really do make a difference. And as I say, it's got a chrome pig nose, volume control. But there is a gold one in there as well. If you want to swap that out for a gold one. And I did get the old machine heads with it as well. So, if I take you through some of the sounds of this guitar. Hello everyone, now I'm just going to take you through just a bit of the guitar there. You can see here is the jack for the guitar. There's a headphone jack there as well. So, you know, if you want to play and blast your ear rolls out, you can also plug into an amp, which is great. This back comes off. Now I'm going to put a picture up because you can actually turn the gain up and down on this. Now, if you see by the picture where I've put the red arrow, you can see that that's like a, a volume pot. Just turn it up and it will get more gritty, more fuzz if you like. Turn it down and obviously the volume goes down but it also gets cleaner. Okay, now you adjust the volume and the amount of gain by this pig knob here. Okay, which is a pig's nose. Well obviously you can play it like this if you wanted. Just like you would do with a normal guitar. But you can also pull this it goes and there it is, it comes to life and you're playing through that one watt speaker. distorted it really is a powerful thing now you can also get loads of feedback on this
Turn it back down, you can even play chords. I've done some recording on this earlier today, uh, just to show you the different variations, and I have actually um, turned it up at the back to make it more gritty, because I needed that for the song. But as I say, you can turn it down, and it does make it cleaner at lower volumes, and obviously more fuzz at higher volumes. If you turn mine right down, it's still quite fuzzy. Which is how I wanted it, but you can get cleaner tones if you turn that pot down. Okay, now there's not a lot to say about this. You can also plug it in, which I'll do for you now and come back. Now, when it's plugged in with the lead into the amp, and this is turned off, you turn it on by pulling this now. Push it in and it's off. So this now just becomes a normal volume knob. And that's just going into the amp now. What you can also do is have a mixture of, if you pull this volume knob on, this playing out, I don't know how well it to pick it up. You can also have this speaker on plus the amp, which gives it another dimension. So you can have lots of different tone variations. You can either take it out the amp and play it just, just through this speaker. That's obviously coming through the amp. So you can either just play it through the speaker of this guitar and mic that up. Or you can play it just through the amp. If you push that in, plug it into the amp and that'll play through the amp if you turn it up. And then you can have a mixture of both sounds. Now to illustrate this, I've made a recording uh, earlier today. Uh, and this is what I come up with. This has got all different settings. I'll start off with just the speaker and it's mic'd up and then I plug into an amp and then I'll do them both at the end. Okay, that'll be the speaker and mic type. So you will see a microphone in front of it all the time. Now it's no fancy mic, it's just a focus right mic. It's no fancy amp, it's just a little spark amp, and I'm using Reaper as a door. Not no massive amounts of effects. I'm just using a bit of distortion and a bit of reverb. Okay, and that just shows you uh, or highlights the guitar for you. But it's a fantastic sounding little uh, travel guitar i was really shocked by just how good it was actually just how powerful it was just like the little amps they really pack a punch take a bit of getting used to to play but they really do pack a punch so really a cracking little guitar <laughs>